Hi Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you for joining me. My name is Bree, and today we are doing your January love reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So in this reading, we're going to be looking at how you both are thinking and feeling about each other. And then in the extended, we'll go more into like the next steps, the action, the outcome type of stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. I first want to say happy birthday to all of my Capricorns out there. I am a uh, January 15th Capricorn. So I hope you guys all have a great birthday season. Of course, as always, please do consider subscribing before you go. This is a general reading, so check your sun, moon, and rising, and the info for my site is down below as well. All right, Capricorns, let's see what's going on in January. Overall energy, we have the Three of Swords. How you are thinking about them. We have the lover's card. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. How you feel about them. We have the ace of wands. How you feel about the connection. We have the six of cups. And your challenge for January is the magician. For them, their overall energy, we have the strength card. How they're thinking about you. We have the two of cups. How beautiful is that? How they feel about you, we have the Five of Cups, okay. How they feel about the connection, we have the world. And the challenge for them in this cycle is the Eight of Wands. Okay, Capricorns, let's talk. Bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Wands. So you both, and then look, Nine of Wands, okay. You both are having to deal with a lot right now, okay. You're having to overcome a lot of struggle. I feel like this is in your external lives, like to do with like family and friends and career and just like life path stuff. Like you are having to face a lot of challenges and a lot of battles. You've been working hard, but you can't stop. Like you both have to keep working. Like if you give up at this point, it's like, Everything was all for nothing, you know? So there's definitely this energy in January that you guys are both just like pushing forward, striving forward. Now, for you, your overall, we have the Three of Swords here, okay? So for you, I feel like there's been a really big realization of where things are at right now, why things have to be the way they are right now. And for them, too, they have the strength card, okay? They also understand that right now, you know, it's not going to do you both any good to be defeated. You both have to just keep going. You have to have the strength and the faith to keep going. But I feel like for you, you know, it's definitely, I think, a little harder for you in this cycle to accept what's going on because you've got the lover's card here and how you're thinking about them, you know, so you're really, really, really connected and really, really understanding the spiritual aspect of this connection. And that's relevance and the importance of that. Them too, the way they're thinking about you, you have the two of cups. Okay, so like, they I feel like they are thinking a lot about the physical connection, the physical relationship between the two of you. You're thinking a lot about the spiritual. They have the five of cups and how they feel about you, you know? So there is a little bit of regret. They're definitely looking at you, looking at what you're doing. They likely know that, you know, you are feeling a little bit of pain. They might have regret for something that they did or said or something they didn't do. And we'll talk about that with the Eight of Wands here. Okay, so I feel like, you know, they, with the Strength card here, okay, they know that they have to keep going. They know they have to have faith. They know they have to know that this is all going to work out. And they do. 
they have the wheel of fortune and how they feel about the connection you know they know that this is just a cycle they know that this is something that you both have to go through they know that you both have things you both have things you both need to do and there's like nothing they can do to change that this is totally out of their control and I think for them this regret here this five of cups is wishing they would have done something in the past but I feel like for you, you're like, you know what, I'm hurt now, okay? I'm hurt now. I'm upset now, but I know that this is going to turn into something. You have a new vision. You have a new vision. Or you see the vision much more clearly now. They may not see the vision yet. They may not see the vision yet, but they do have the faith. They do have the strength to keep going. They're not giving up. You have the Six of Cups and how you feel about the connection. So you also were thinking a lot about the past memories, maybe putting things together from the past, understanding why things had to happen and why things were said and etc. For you, the challenge is the magician. It's going to be making something out of this, manifesting something out of this, taking the energy that you have and putting it into something creating something out of it for them the challenge is the eight of wands okay so i feel like with whatever this regret is whatever they're regretting which we'll talk about in the extended they're having a hard time communicating about something there's something that they're needing to i feel there's something that they need to tell you there's something that they want, you know, to bring to your attention. There's some type of insight that they want to, to bring to you, okay? But with this Seven of Wands here and this Nine of Wands, you know, they really genuinely may be very busy and dealing with a lot in their life. It could have to do with work. That's one potential here with this Queen of Coins. So... In the extended, we're going to clarify a lot of this energy here. We're going to see what the next steps are, how this all pans out. We're going to pull some oracle cards here. So Capricorn, if this has been resonating with you and you want to get some of the more action steps, outcome type of information, then that information for the extended will be down below in the description box below this video. Like I said in the beginning, most accurate type of reading is always going to be a personal reading to see where your personal energy is at. My uh, website is www.com slash brierising.com slash book me. Okay, so if you want a private reading, that's where you'll find me. Link also is down below. Please check me out on Instagram if you're interested in getting some motivational messages from me. Capricorns, I wish you a wonderful birthday season and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.